Jefferson Multimedia, what's up? I want to take a closer look at the commercial script. So I did mine for Galaxy Fitness, which is my spin on Planet Fitness, right? As you do your script, remember, we want everything centered on the page, like we talked about. For the shot numbers, we have shot one in all caps, and then a space, a dash, and a space. And then you tell me the camera shot. What are we going to look at? We're going to see a full shot of a gym bro pumping iron. Right below it, we have what the gym bro says. Galaxy Fitness, that's for lightweights. Tell the story through the words the characters are saying, which means your characters need to say words. Don't write in your description, two guys talk about Galaxy Fitness, or Jim Bro talks about Galaxy Fitness. Tell me who's talking and exactly what they say. The dialogue moves the story forward. So it's just the shot number, space dash space, the description of what kind of shot we're going to see, which means, yeah, you need to think it out. Then tell me what we're looking at really tight in like one sentence, ladies at Galaxy Fitness and neon 80s workout gear. And then underneath it, what are the characters saying? Because the characters tell the story. So Lady One responding to this guy, Galaxy Fitness that's for lightweights. And Lady One says, yeah, and we like it that way. And then you got Lady Three, she's like high stepping, like in the movie Flashdance. If you've never seen it, you're not missing much. But there's a background song. That sounds like Maniac by Michael Sambello, an 80s total cheesy workout tune where the lady's dancing in the video. So they're making fun of that 80s thing. And then Lady 2 says, we just came in for a quick workout and some girl time before we go to Splash Dance at City Lights on Friday. And then Ladies 2 and 4 say, ooh, so we know they're going out to this weird kind of party thing, right? And then there's a scene in Flash Dance where the lady's dancing, she sits in a chair, she reaches up, she pulls on a rope, and then a bunch of water splashes down on her. We're going to do that thing. So we're making fun of that scene from the movie. And then we cut to shot four, back to the wide shot of all the ladies, and Lady 1 says, baby, that was perfect. So you've got like four ladies having fun messing around at the fitness center. Why? Because the slogan, what's in it for you? Fun. And friendship, being with their friends, right? One more thing, as you work on your commercials, the slogan that we came up with, it needs to be in your commercial. Someone needs to say it, or we need to see it on screen. Remember, the story of your commercial should revolve around that slogan. So when you make a slogan, you need to include it in your commercial one way or another, and make sure that the story you're telling matches the slogan. Okay, as we look at the script format, it's the way we talked about. So the shot number, this line is in bold. You have the shot number and then space dash space. The shot abbreviation for what kind of shot it is, then you tell me what we see, Jim Bro pumping iron. And then underneath it, the name of the character who's talking, space dash space, and then the words they say. So you don't want to use quotation marks with each shot. Tell me what I'm looking at tell me who's talking, space dash space, and then their words. If you have more than one person talking, there should be a blank line between each person who's talking, and then another blank line before the next shot. So as I look at our stuff, a lot of it looks like this. I uh, remember how I said don't change font sizes. A lot of us are changing font sizes. How I say don't change fonts. A lot of us are still changing fonts. How I say don't change font colors. A lot of us are changing font colors. And I want you to look at spacing on your lines. I want things to be set to single spacing. So how do we fix all of these problems? I would select the whole passage, right? You want your spacing to be at single. Now we have the different size fonts. How can we change that? We want everything to be Arial, right? So click on the font, select Arial, and then we want 11 point, right? So I can click in this box, I can go down to 11, or I can just type 11 and hit return. Then we want everything centered, because see how this is centered, but this goes over to the left. Click on here, select centered, and then everything centers. And then how do you change the font color back? Click on the A for text color, select black, oh, I missed this shot, and center it, and everything is fine. But keep in mind, every time we have changes like that, that's something that we chose to do. So that's how you undo it. And if you need to re-watch this a million times until you get it, do that. But that's all I got. Thanks. Bye-bye.